Hello, I'm the Gaming Group, your host for today's little video, and I am happy, really, really happy to say because the last few videos I've done of this have been pretty bad, uh, not me per se, but just the stuff I've been reviewing. As you know, you can find them all in my on my channel or in the description below. Um, I think I'm going to put that there, I don't know. But mainly the toys haven't been very good, but today we have a good toy, and it is... This toy! This is the Indominus Rex versus Gyrosphere set and I am so, so, so pleased. Hold on, can we, can we get it in shot? Ah, oh, yeah! I am so pleased to say I am actually very, very happy about this set. This is one of the rare, and I'm talking rare few uh, toys from Hasbro thus far, that is actually worth your money. And I'm about to tell you why, but first! Let me and you are gonna open it a little bit, shall we? Maha! I have the scissors! I have the power! Let's release the Indominus Rex! The little Fitzy's hooked! Oh dear! Indominus will just have a cool little ankle band. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, that's good. That's a good toy. Okay, already I can tell that's a good toy. I'm just looking it. Mm hmm. Oh, whoa! Hello? Oh yeah! Okay, I'm just gonna say this is an awesome flippin' toy. I'm gonna give you a close-up so you can see how cool it is. That's right, guys. I may have been a little bit apprehensive at first, but this is a really cool toy. Look at that mouth. We got lovely detail. The sculpt is fantastic. Uh, I also love the, uh, the action of it. If you pull the tail, you can do this. Nom, 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 nom. That's awesome, I love it! Oh, not only that, I mentioned in the previous videos about the dino damage and how they had messed it up by not allowing you to cover it up, but they... I also I must have knew I was gonna say that. So this is the dino damage. Can you see it? No, you can't! Why? Because they have been very, very clever with the way they've, disgu they've disguised it, sorry. Um, the little uh, handle bit looks like it could be a, uh, a spike from Indominus, so already you don't really see it. But how it's revealed is something that hasn't been done before. It is a spring loaded, so when you press it, it shows that that bat is awesome and it's not too obscene, especially when you fill it up. It looks almost, I mean, yes, you could accidentally set it off by accident, you know, that's gonna happen, but it, it's really, really subtle and that is perfect. I love it. I love the, what they've done with this. It's, it feels like a solid model. I will say I feel like um, Hasbro have a thing with um, not having dinosaurs with long enough tails. I don't know, it just looks to me, and the same with the raptors as well, everything that I've sort of uh, reviewed so far, that they're all front heavy. They look like they could just go fall over like that. Oh yeah, that's why I bought a good lens. <laughs> uh, if you just look, you've got a nice little bit of lippy around uh, this bit here. That looks like lipstick, it's not, it's blood. Um, I think is the the underside of the mouth isn't uh, sculpted, but that's okay. We're never gonna see that anyway. The bottom of the mouth, however, um, is it? Uh, no, you got you got a big ass tongue though. I will say that. Um, the eye, the eye is really good uh, because you have so you have a lit, you have red, which is the normal color of the of its eye. You have the black iris and a little bit of shine, a little bit of I think it's yellow. It's yellow. You can kind of tell they've reused the same color in the mouth as they have in the eye and the teeth is the same color as the little white bit in the eye. Um, the rest of the model, we do we do have um, bullet holes, we do have some of those, but for some odd reason, because it's a bigger model, they're not as like horribly pronounced as they are. Um, so pretty much this, this Indominus Rex gets a beaver thumbs up. Yeah, I like it. The head actually has like a little bit of swing. I'm wondering if you can tilt. Is it like a rotate? Hmm, not really. It doesn't, I mean it goes up and down, but it doesn't rotate, but the head has a sort of little, little shake. So if you get the guy, let's get the guy. I mean, if you're playing with it, you could just sort of grab it. Grab the guy and then go, Rah! and shake the head about. Rah! That's enough of the Indominus Rex. I'm gonna stand this figure proudly over here. Just cover up his little boo-boo. Boing! Here is the other, the little figure you get. Now, so far we have not seen any uh, human 
toys from this set at all. By that, I mean characters. I mean uh, Owen or Claire, Chris Pratt, for example. We haven't seen any of those. So far, all of the sets, all Lost World, Jurassic Park, they've all had it. But for some odd reason, we're not getting it. Uh, I'm expecting them to come up with their own wave. The thing is, what I'm not liking about this, the whole Jurassic World Hasbro lineup, is there is no scale. You cannot play your other dinosaurs with some, like, for example, I'm, go I'm gonna do a little scale comparison afterwards to show you how crazy the scales can get. But first, let's look at this guy. He's, um, he's not very well, I mean, he's molded. That's all I'm gonna say. He's just got a nice mold, a sculpt, because we're returning to the very, very, very old fashioned action figures where both arms move at once. There is no ind independent movement here or articulation. Uh, this, this is a very, this is, be this is before my time. And I'm old, I think. <laughs> like, I never saw any toys um, that could move both arms at the same time. Um, I mean, before me, when my, my dad was younger, there was loads of these toys. These toys flooded the marketplace. The same with the legs. You just have one single joint. I've seen this before. I've seen the legs. I've seen the, the legs that sort of move, uh, like, both together. Uh, his face is um, fantastic. <laughs> I, you know, I haven't looked at his face properly. Um, it, it's literally like he went on a conveyor belt and the brush went. His left side isn't as painted as his right. He's got a little bit more. Uh, there is a seam running straight all the way down, the, but I'm not bothered. What we are bothered about is the gyrosphere itself. Unfortunately, I, I think there will be no characters. I want to get a little, um, like the two kids or even Chris Pratt and put him in here. But this looks like it's only, and I mean, only for this figure. It's ridiculous. Hold on. Let's let's get let's get a good zoom in on it. Here we are. Now you can see it lovely. Okay. Uh, we can put the little army man or ACU soldier in there, and we can sort of tell you what. Let's put him on this seat. Let's put him there. There he is. Look. He's he's sitting very nicely there, and then we. S and we're already seeing the problem here. This guy does not want to sit. Um, at all. I, I don't know whether he can actually sit. This this could be a problem of the actual product itself. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna see if I can put him in. Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it, he's in there! But you know, no kid's gonna do that. They're just gonna be doing what the heck they please. And I want this to roll. It comes with wheels, which is quite nice, so you can well it comes with two wheels. It comes with two wheels and a stand. So basically, you can have it like that and roll it, or you can stand it. But basically, how this works is, in fact, actually, this came with a weapon. This came with a weapon and it almost chucked it away. Thank God it didn't. Uh, come here. But you only get one of these. This is a little frisbee that we put in the top of the gyrosphere. I'm guessing this isn't in the film, it's just for kids, and I don't care. That is a beautiful, beautiful addition to the set. Um, so you have Indominus, like, I'm gonna kill you, Ace Soldier. And he, he comes in to attack. Now, there's there's two ways that this battle can end. Indominus Rex hits this little grey button here, and the ACU soldier flies out and then he gets eaten. Or, the uh, ACU soldier manages to hit the Indominus Rex here, and uh, with his little frisbee, and the Indominus Rex I'm guessing dies. I'd say dies. So we'll we'll give it a chance. Um, so you get one shot. You get one shot, ACU dude. Will you land your mark? And will it? This is the important question. Will it actually hit it hard enough to trigger the spring loaded and cause it to show the wound? I'm pressing quite hard now. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to upset the guy. Jesus. Well, um, well, there we have it. Uh, I sort of. I want to I want to put Indominus Rex in the picture there and see if I can shoot it. But my god, you have to press hard and it flies out. By George, does it fly out? Okay. I think that took a chunk out of my wall. I'd imagine that if you line this up right and the AC soldier doing all this is actually sitting quite well. He hasn't fallen over yet. I'm really really amazed. Um so okay, let's do a close up. Oh, yep, yep, there you go. It hit it hard enough to set his dino damage off. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Can Indominus Rex set this up? I'm guessing he can. I there's there's no way he can't, right? Ah! Oh! Oh my god! You have to hold him still? Do you have to hold him still? Come on! Click it! There you go. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I had to hold it still, but to a way where um tell you what, we'll do it this way. So you can see if it actually sends the guy out. Ah, damn it, I didn't mean to set that up. Will it? Will it set the guy? Will the guy go flying? Wait, how do, how do we do that? How do we set that off? Do you have to just click it hard enough? I mean, you can break it and go. Hi, hello, Joe! And sort of stick his head right in there, lovely up and close. Sort of shake the hole and like gyrosphere about. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, but can he, can he force that open? Yes, there it is. Eat him, eat him. Can he get him out though? Can he, can he do it? I mean, I want, I want to test this. Come on Indominus, get it out, get it out. Flip it, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to touch you. I'm just going to do what a kid would do and just use his hand on the Indominus. Come on, maybe spin it a little. <laughs> can we get him out? Can we get him out? Wow, we've got him up on the head. Arrgh! Ah, actually, the claws come in handy. The claws, you can sort of get your hand in there and you can sort of just shake it about. Wow, this toy's dive. This is an awesome set. I'm loving this. Okay, but the soldier, the soldier is actually being very clever and he seems to have wedged himself like at the other side. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see him, but he, hold on, we'll get a close. He, I think he's well and truly stuck. This guy's very clever. He's obviously had lots of years and years of training. Come on, is, like, can you see him inside? Yeah, he's actually behind the seat. He's, he's hidden behind. You can't even make him out. He's completely got himself wedged. Um, could he get pulled out? Is that a possible thing? Like, well, I'm using the tail here. I'm using the tail. I'm not gonna push his head forward. And we'll use that tail. We'll push it down. And there you go, he lifted him out. Beautiful. Oh, so good, double this Rex. You know what? I gotta give this this credit. It's made me feel like a kid again, which is very rare for some toys to do, or any toys to do. Um, the Indominus Rex feels meaty, chunky. I feel like I could hold it really firm without anything breaking. Uh, it's got a lovely action. What kid doesn't want to do this over and over? Yeah. The toy, um, I gotta admit, nobody cares for the toy. You, you buy this set for a kid and you go, oh, look at the action figure. They'll be like, that's what they'll do. <laughs> and the, the, the fact that they brought in a dino damage, a little bit of dino damage, it's perfect. The Indominus Rex, like even attacking the gyrosphere, you can use those hands to sort of get in there, maybe shake the um, AC, ACU soldier about. And then actually, if you like press that, you could look like he sort of pushes the chair out and then goes like, well, that's amazing sort of action you've got there. I gotta say, you could have so much fun. This is a set that you could take outside, play it in the grass, play it in the garden, and you won't have a problem with losing anything and it will just make it look even also, even much more cooler. Um, when I've reviewed all of these, I'm gonna take them for a field test. Testing in the field. And that is me uh, putting them in a garden or putting them in the grass and just seeing how cool they look just there. Um, so that, this is pretty much it. I will say this is definitely, definitely, definitely worth your money. If you're gonna spend 22 or more pound on uh, toys, this, Definitely consider it. This is a really, really cool set. Re uh, just watch yourself with this frisbee because you could probably kill somebody with it if you <laughs> if you just like oh yeah look at like that. So until next time, hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave it like if you have, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.